We continue now at the top of Daf Lamed Dalad Amad Aleph Rosh Hashanah. This is Rosh Hashanah Daf 34a. And the previous summer, the Gemara wanted to know how do we know that on Rosh Hashanah we blow Tekiah true at Tekiah? And the Gemara says we learn it out from the blowing of the shofar on Yom, Yom Kippur in the Yovel year. She'ain Talmud Lomar Bachodesh Hashvi because the pasuk does not need to say Bachodesh Hashvi. Rashi over here says She'ain Talmud Lomar Bachodesh Hashvi. The Chos of Lon Bekama Mekomos the Yom Kippur Bachodesh Hashvi. We know from many places that Yom Kippur is in the seventh month. Bachodesh Yom Kippur says explicitly in the pasuk we're talking about Yom Kippur. So those words Bachodesh Hashvi are not needed. So why does the pasuk say Bachodesh Hashvi? She Yehu called Truos Hachodesh Hashvi Zekoze. The idea is that all the blowings of the shofar in the seventh month should be identical, and therefore we know Rosh Hashanah should be just like the blowing of the shofar on Yom Kippur of the Yovel year, and therefore it's going to be Tekiah Trua Tekiah. And the Gemara continues, How do you know that you have to blow three times, meaning from Malchios and Zechronos and Shofars, for every single one of them, you need a Tekia, true, a Tekia. Rashi over here explains, How do you know that this whole Tekia, true, a Tekia, you do it three times? You do it from Malchios, Zechronos, and Shofros. What's the source for that? So the Gemara says, because the Pasuk says, V'ha'avarta shofar trua, Shabbosan zichron trua, and yom trua yelachem. Rashi over here says, Tamalomar trua telasa zimne. The word trua is used three times, l'cholachas, and for each one of them, pshuta l'fana, pshuta l'achara, like we said, you have to do a tekiah before it, and a tekiah after it says trua three times, so you know you're doing it for three different sets. And the Gemara continues, How do I know some of these psukim are talking about Rosh Hashanah? And some of them are talking about the Yovel year. How do you know you apply each psukim to both scenarios? Talmud Lomar, Shvi, Shvi, L'Gzei The Pasuk says the word Shvi by both of them. We make a Gzei and we compare. And Rashi over here explains, These three words, true, they're not in the same place. Two of them are written by Rosh Hashanah. And one of them is written by Yovel. So, how do you know I should take the ones that are written by Rosh Hashanah to Yovel and the ones for Yovel I should transfer to Rosh Hashanah? That way we know they have to do three sets both times, both by Yovel and Rosh Hashanah. And for that, the Gemara says, Shvi, Shvi, It says the word Shvi for Gzei Rosh Hashanah. By Rosh Hashanah, it says Bachodesh Hashvi. Benemar Biyovel, also by Yovel, it says, Vavarz Shofar Trua Bachodesh Hashvi. It also says Shvi. So therefore, we make a Gzer Shavi. You take what's written by one set of Sukkim to the other, and you understand that both Rosh Hashanah and Yom, and Yom Kippur of Yovel both require three sets of the blowing of the Shofar. And the Gemara continues, Haket said, How so? Meaning, how exactly do you blow the Shofar? Shalo Shahin Tesha. You're going to blow three sets. It's going to be a total of nine, because again, in every single set, you're going to blow three times. Tekiah, Trua Tekiah. So you have three times three. It's a total of nine. And the Gemara continues, Shir Tekiah Ketrua, the length of a Tekiah is the same as the length of a Trua, and Shir Terua Kishlosha Shvarim, and the length of a Trua is the same as three Shvarim, three broken sounds. And the Gemara now continues, This Tana that we're quoting above, first they bring, the, they bring a Hekish. In other words, they say all the blowings of the Shofar in the seventh month should be identical. And then the Gemara suddenly switches to a of Shvi Shvi. How do you know how to put the Pesukim by Yom Kippur to include those by Rosh Hashanah? And how do you know to say what's said by Rosh Hashanah to include by Yom Kippur? So they do a So how come the same Tana is bring a Hekish and then bringing a Gzei Rashi over here says, "Vetana meikara aisi bekeisha lil modzemi ze minayin shebeshofer upshuta lefanel leacharecha." Kama Rosh Hashanah miyovo bekeisha. He said, "How do we know we use a shofar? How do you know you do tkiya tru tkiya? That you learn from a hekish from Yovel, a hekish between Rosh Hashanah and Yovel." The entire lomar bechodesh hashvi ela lahakish called trua shel chodesh hashvi shiushavas. We compared all the blowings of the shofar in the seventh month to be the same. Well, the sof gomer b'gzeir shavu. Then all of a sudden, the tana switches to gzeir shavu. Lita no amr shel zebaze again, like we said, to put what's written in one to the other. Hanami tasted bekeisha. Why not do that with the hekish as well? Diki de chasvina shu shteim rosh hashanah v'yachas biyovel. If you're going to take literally what's written and just do two sets on rosh hashanah and just do one set on yovel, ain't shru ain't shru shel chodesh hashvi shavas. They're not going to be equal. So what's going on? Are we using a gzeir shavu or are we using a hekish? And so the Gemara answers, Hachi Kamer, this is what we're really saying, Ilav Gzei Roshav, if not for the fact that we had the Gzei Roshav, Hava Maisin Ola we can include it, we can bring this Limur with a Hekish, Hashta Da'asya Gzei Roshav, but now that we do have a Gzei Roshav, Hekesha Lo Tzarech, we don't actually need the Hekish, 
We can just use the Gzeira Shava. And the Gemara continues, Vaitana Maisila Bigzeira Shava mi Midbar. The following Tana learns from Gzeira Shava from the blowing of the shofar in the wilderness. The Tanya, because we learned in Abraiso, Skatem Trua, Tekiya Bifneatsma, Trua Bifneatsma. It says you're going to blow a Trua. And it talks about a Tekiya and a Trua. The idea is there's a Tekiya that's separate and a Trua that's separate. Ata Omer, Tekiya Bifneatsma, Trua Bifneatsma. Now you're telling me that the Tekiya and the Trua represent two separate sounds. Oh, no, Ela Tekiya, Trua Achasi. Maybe it's all the same sound. So Kishu. Omer, no, when the Pasuk says, It says, when you gather the people, you're going to do a tekiah and not a trua. You see, it's clear from the Pesukim that the tekiah and the trua are separate sounds. Now, how do we know we do the tekiah sound before the trua? The Pasuk says, puts tekiah first. How do we know we also put the tekiah sound after you finish so that it's tekiah, trua, tekiah? Tamil lomar, trua, yisko. Another pasuk says, trua, yisko. And Rashi over here explains, Vaitana maisi lomi midbar. We learn from the wilderness. What do we learn? Shetay pshuta lefana, pshuta lachra. In other words, we learn from the wilderness that you blow tekiah, trua, tekiah. Tekiah bifnei atzma. The lo teimachadahi. Maybe you'll say the pasuk just means one thing. Vaachi kamar just means how you token trua. They blow a trua. The, the, the word token is just a verb and all they really blow is a trua. Elohachi kamar uskatem tekiya ve'achareha heiri o trua. That's not what it means. Rather, what it means is first blow the tekiya, and then it means also blow the trua. Oeno elachas he. Maybe again, it's all one. Vachi kamar how you token trua. So the answer is no. Kishu omer tisku v'lo tariu. When it says tisku v'lo tariu, mechlal de v'maso is tisku v'tariu kamar. That implies b'hakil as call You only do tekiya. But when you're traveling in the wilderness, so you're going to do both. You're going to do a tekiya and a trua. With trua lo kari la tekiya hari al karchach tekiya b'fneat. You see clearly the Tki is one sound and the true is another sound. And the Gemara continues, Rabbi Yishmael ben Oshel Rabbi Yochanan ben Broka, Omer Rabbi Yishmael, the son of Rabbi Yochanan ben Broka, says, Eino tzarech, you don't need the above limud, Harehu Omer, because the Pasuk says, Uskatem Terua Shainis. Pasuk says you're going to blow a Trua a second time. Shain Tam Lomar Shainis. The Pasuk doesn't need to say Shainis. Uma Tam Lomar Shainis. What is the Pasuk saying when it says Shainis? Zeb Bona Av Shekal Mokom Shenemar Trua. This creates a principle that any time that it says the word Trua, that we're going to blow a Trua, Te Tekiya Shniola. There's also going to be a Tekiya that is secondary to it. In other words, it's two separate things. You're going to have a Tekiya and a Trua. Rashi over here says, Shain Tam Lomar Shainis Shekvar Amar Uskatem Trua Venasa Machin Aploni. It already says that you're going to blow the Trua. And they're going to travel. Kihadar Amor Skatem Trua Venasa Machin Aploni Pshita De Shainisi. When it says it again, obviously it's a second time. So what it means to tell us is Tehei Tekiya Shniel Aminen. But Achikamar, what it means is as follows: Uskatem Tekiya Shainis LeTrua. There's going to be another Tekiya that is blown that accompanies the Trua. And the Gemara continues, Ain Liela Ba Midbar. So now I only know all of these Psukim above are talking about the blowings of the shofar that we do in the wilderness when they're traveling. But Rosh Hashanah, Minayin, how do we know this is true by Rosh Hashanah as well? That we blow Tekiah, Trua, Tekiah. Tamad Lomar, Trua, Trua, Ligzeira Shava. So the answer is the Pasuk says Trua, Trua. It says Trua by both of them. We make a Gezeira Shava, we compare the two, and we say the same halachas are true when it comes to Rosh Hashanah. And the Gemara continues, Vishalos Truos Namru Ba Rosh Hashanah. It says Trua three times by Rosh Hashanah. Shabbosan Zichron Trua, one time by Shabbos and Zichron Trua. It says Yom Trua, it also says Yom Trua, and it also says Vavar to Shofar Trua. Again, every true is accompanied by two tekios. Matzinu lemeidin, so it comes out shalos truos that there's a total of three truos v'sheish tekios, and there's a total of six tekios. Nem rubu Rosh Hashanah that are said by Rosh Hashanah. Shtayim midivrei Torah. Now two of them are from the Torah. V'yachas midivrei sofrim, and one of them one of them is midivrei sofrim. Rashi will explain what this means. Shabbos and zichron trua v'avarta shofar trua midivrei Torah. The psukim of Shabbos and zichron trua and v'avarta shofar trua those are from midivrei Torah. And Yom Tru Yelachem le Talmudo Huba. And the Pasuk of Yom Tru Yelachem, that's in order to teach us a particular limud. Rabbi Shmuel Bar Nachmeni, Yom Rabbi Yonason. Rabbi Shmuel Bar Nachmeni says in the name of Rabbi Yonason, no, it's only Achas mi Divrei Torah. One of them is mi Divrei Torah. Shtayim mi Divrei Sofrim. Two of them are mi Divrei Sofrim. Vavar to Shofar Trua mi Divrei Torah. Vavar to Shofar Trua is mi Divrei Torah. Shabbos and Zichron Trua of Yom Tru Yelachem le Talmudo Huba. And the, the other two psukim of Shabbos and Zichron Tru and Yom Tru Yelachem, those are to teach us a particular limud. Again, this is going to be explained. And Rashi over here explains, Shtayim midivrei Torah, two of them are midivrei Torah, means to say as follows. 
Trey Croy Darish Lemignana. Two of the Psukim, he darshans that has to do with how many times, how many sets we have to blow the shofar. Kedektani Vyaza, like we're about to say, Vavarta Shofar Trua, Shabosan Zichron Trua. Again, those are the two Psukim. Midivre Torah Kilomar, Mikan Nilmut Shtayim Yom Trua Yelachem Lo Tidrushay Lemignana. In other words, we learn how you have to blow two sets, that's from those two Psukim. But that last Psukim of Yom Trua, that we're not going to use to say that you have to blow a third set. Sharila Talmudu Huba Mufna Lexer Shavah, because it has to be used. For Gzeir Shava. Shadarash Trua Trua Lexer Shava. We're going to darshan Trua Trua to create a Gzeir Shava. Ela Sovrim Amrua. So, what the Gemara means to say is, but the Rabbanon said that you should blow a third set. Kedei Lahashvos Malchios Vizachronos Vishofaros Let's In order to have an equal amount of, of uh, blowing shofar for Malchios, Zichronos, and Shofar. So in other words, what Rashi is saying is, is that really, you only on a Doraisa level, you only need to blow two sets. The third set is just Midra Bonon, because really that Pasuk is used for Gzeir Shava. And Rashi continues, Rabbi Shmuel Bar Nachmeni, Omer V'chulu, again, Rabbi Shmuel Bar Nachmeni said that you actually have two of them that are used for Drashas. Maile Talmud Huban, the Gemara is going to ask, what does it mean? What is that Drasha? Meaning, Bishlam Achad L'Gzeir Shava. I understand Trua Trua L'Gzeir Shava. The Gemara in this Amud quoted that Gzeir Shava of Trua Trua. But Idach Lamai, but what is the other Pasuk? Used for, and that's what the Gemara asks over here on Rabbi Shmuel Bar Nachmeni Yomar Rabbi Yonasan Ma'ile Talmudu Huba. What does it mean that we're going to use it for a drasha? Again, we know about the Gzeir Shava of Trua Trua, but what is the other pasuk used for? Mi boy bayom velo belayla. So it's for a different drasha. The idea that we blow the shofar during the day and not at night. And the Gemara continues, Ve'idach, and the other Tanu, referring to Rabbi Yishmael, Benoshel, Rabbi Yochanan, and Broka, Ve'yom velo belayla. Minoli, where does he learn out this idea that we blow the shofar during the day and not at night? And so the Gemara says, Nafkalemi bi Yom Kippurim. He learns it out from Yom Kippur, just like on Yom Kippur of the Yovel. It's blown during the day, so to on Rosh Hashanah. So the Gemara says, Imi bi Yom Kippurim Yolef Nigmor Nami Minei L'Pshuta Lefanei L'Pshuta Lacharef. He's learning from Yom Kippur already, so why not learn from Yom Kippur the idea of Tekiyah Trua Tekiyah? Why does he learn from the Midbar, from the Gezei Roshavet Trua Trua? Just learn like we said earlier, learn from Yom Kippur. So to that, the Gemara says, Vavarta taviru lo mashmalu. To this Tana, the idea that Vavarta and Taviru, that that implies Tekiyah before and Tekiyah after, that wasn't mashma to them, that that's the meaning. But the Gemara says, Elamai darshi bu, fine. So what does Rabbi Shmuel ben Oshel, Rabbi Yochanan ben Broka do with Vavarta and Taviru? So the Gemara says, Vavarta kidder of Masna. The word Vavarta is used for, for what Rav Masna taught. The Amr of Masna, Rav Masna said, Va, says, Vavarta derech avaroso. When it says Vavarta, it means you have to blow the shofar the same way it grew from the animal. Meaning you have to keep the narrow side to be the narrow side and the wider side to be the wider side. You can't change it. And Taviru, and why does the Pasuk say Taviru? Because the Torah is telling you, maybe you would have thought you just have to carry it around with your hand. Who says you have to blow the shofar? Maybe that's what Vavarta means. So it says Taviru to say, no, it really means to blow the shofar. And the Gemara says, V'idach, and so the other Tana, the Rav Masna, where does the other Tana learn out this idea of Rav Masna? Midashani bidibure, because it used a different language. It said Vavarta, could have just said that you're going to blow the shofar, use the normal language of Tekiah, but instead it says Vavarta, so it says Vavarta Trua, so that tells you, that, that new language tells you that it has to be again, Derech so the same way it grew in the animal. And furthermore, Taviru biyad lo the idea that you'd carry it around with your hand and not blow it, that nobody would have ever thought. The gomar ever ever mimosha, because that we're going to learn out from the, it says the similar word, vayaviru by Moshe Rabbeinu. Ksevach, it says over here, vahavarta shofar, it says vahavarta shofar trua, using the word vahavarta. Ksevach, and it says over there by Moshe, vayitzav Moshe, vayaviru kol bamachana. It says this word again, Vayaviru, and it's talking about making a sound. Malahalan Bakol, just like over there, it's talking about a sound. Afkan Bakol, so too over here, it's talking about the blowing of the shofar. And the Gemara continues, Ulahai Tana Demaisi Lomi Midbar, according to this Tana before, again, that learns Tekiah, Trua Tekiah, from the Midbar, Imalahalan Chatzotros, Afkan Chatzotros, one second. In the Midbar, they didn't blow the shofar, they blew, they, they blew the Chatzotros. That should be true over here. So the Gemara says, no, Talmud Lama, the Pasuk says, Tiku Bachode Shofar Bakesel Yom Chagein. So it's talking again on Rosh Hashanah, the blowing of the shofar. What is the month where, what is the, the holiday where the new moon, the moon is covered up? That's obviously talking about Rosh Hashanah. In other words, the, the new moon that appears at the holiday of Rosh Hashanah. And what is the the Pasuk over here say, the Pasuk says Shofar, in other words, it's clear that this Pasuk is a reference to Rosh Hashanah, and we're talking about the Shofar, so you see that on Rosh Hashanah we use the Shofar. And the Gemara continues, asking Rabbi Avo, Bikesari, Rabbi Avo made the following Takana in Caesarea, Tekiya, Shlosha Shvarim, Trua Tekiya. He said the way that we should blow is you should do Tekiya, then you should do the Shvarim, then you should do the Trua, and then you should do the Tekiya. 
So the Gemara says, Manavshach, one second, either way. If the situation is you're supposed to do Yalula Yala, meaning the short notes, like somebody who's crying in short notes, so then it should be Tekia Trua Tekia. And if it's t- supposed to be like a groan, so so then it should be tekiya shvarim tekiya. So why is he saying to do tekiya shvarim trua tekiya? So the Gemara says Masafkale, No, he had a doubt. He wasn't sure what the proper sound is. Is it the longer note or the shorter note? So Maskevla Ravavira. So Ravavira asked one second. Vidilma Yulula have it, but maybe it really is the shorter note. The Kamafsik Shlosha Shvarim Ben Trua Litkia. Now you have a problem. You're putting three Shvarim as like a hefsik. It's an interruption between the Trua and the Tkia. And so the Gemara says, No, the Hadar of it Tkia Trua Tkia. That's not a problem. We'll solve that because then we'll also blow Tkia Trua Tkia just in case. So the Gemara says, Maskevla Ravina. Ravina asks, Okay, maybe the other way around. Maybe it's really the longer notes. It's really like the the person, the way a person groans. Now you have the opposite problem. The true is interrupting between the shvarim and the tkiya. And so the Gemara says, Okay, so you'll also blow a tkiya shvarim tkiya, and you'll solve you'll solve that problem. But the Gemara says, one second. El Rabbi Avo, am I asking if that's the case? What is Rabbi Avo helping at all? If you're blowing tr- tekiya true tekiya, and you're blowing tekiya shvarim tekiya, you have everything covered. What's the point of doing of doing tekiya shvarim true tekiya? So the Gemara says, Iganuche ganach avde. Again, if it's the longer note, you've done it. Iyulula yalo avde. If it's the shorter note, you've done that as well. And so the Gemara explains, no, Mesafkale, no, he had a doubt as follows. Deal Maganach Viyolo. Maybe really what it's supposed to be is both. Maybe it's supposed to be a Ganach and a Yolo, the longer note and the shorter note. And so the Gemara says, well, if he has so many doubts, Iachi, if so, Liavinami Ipchi, might as well do the reverse also. Do a Tekia Trua Shlosha Shvarim Utekia. Do a Tekia Trua Shvarim Tekia. How do you know the order? How do you know it's Shvarim then Trua? Maybe it's Trua then Shvarim. So the Gemara says, again, Dilma Yalal Veganach, because maybe again, maybe it's the shorter note first, and then it's the longer note. And the Gemara says, no, Stomach the Mils, in most cases, Ki Misra Be'inish Mils, so when something bad happens to a person, Beresha Ganach Vahadar Yalal, so when they cry, first it's the longer cries, and then it's the shorter cries. And the Gemara continues with the two dots, quoting the Mishnah, Taka Berishonu, Mashach Bishniya Kishtayim. It said, let's say you do Tkiya true Tkiya, and that last Tkiya, you do a double Tkiya, double the length. You want it to count for both. You want it to count for the last Tkiya of the first set, and to also count for the first Tkiya of the next set. Amr Reb Yochanan, Reb Yochanan says, Shama, let's say a person heard, and we'll continue with this discussion in the next video, on Daflam Dalid Amr Beis.